dear Judy sir, my fellow advocates of education, and my dear students. As said by Kofi Annan, literacy is a bridge from misery to hope. Today we all have gathered here to celebrate World Literacy Day. This day serves as a powerful reminder of transformative power of literacy. World Literacy Day. Celebrated annually on September 8th, it was first established by UNESCO in 1966 to raise awareness about the importance of literacy and to highlight the challenges that millions of people face in gaining access to equality in education. This is a day when we come together to celebrate the progress made in literacy, but also to acknowledge the work that still lies ahead to ensure that literacy become, becomes the reality for everyone, regardless of their age, gender, and socioeconomic background. The primary objectives of establishing the World Literacy Day is to raise awareness about the importance of illiteracy and its significance in individual and societal development. It is the World Literacy Day is to encourage government organization and individuals to take proactive steps in promoting literacy through various programs, initiatives and campaigns to highlight the challenges and obstacles that hinder literacy rates worldwide. These challenges often include poverty, lack of access for education, gender inequality and inadequate resources. To celebrate the progress made in improving literacy rate globally, to improve, to empower the individual by providing them with the skills and knowledge needed to participate fully in society, make informed decisions and access better economic opportunities, to reduce disparities in education and opportunities. The ability to read and write is not just fundamental skill. It is a fundamental human right. Literacy is a key that unlocks door to knowledge, opportunity, and personal empowerment. It empowers individuals to make informed decisions about health, livelihoods, and civic participation. It is the foundation upon which a person's dream, aspiration, and potentials are built. Throughout the years, World Literacy Day has seen numerous events, conferences, workshops, and campaigns held worldwide. These activities aim to draw attention to the importance of literacy and advocate the policies that initiate the, to support literacy and education. Provide an opportunity for individuals and communities to come together to discuss solutions to literacy challenges. Today we live in the era of which is characterized by explosion of visual and content. So on this World Literacy Day, today we have our head of the Department of Journalism and Mass Communication, Dr. Kesav Sathya Sir, who will enlighten us on the topic of visual literacy. So uh, before giving his uh, introduction, I would like to call Dr. Dheeraj Singh Sir to kindly felicitate our speaker, Dr. Kesav Sathya Sir. Thank you so much, sir. It is my distinct honor and privilege, privilege to introduce our speaker, Dr. Kesav Sathya Sir. He is a senior media expert with more than four decades of rich experience in TV, radio, and digital media. He has earned his master's in communication and journalism and further carried out his doctoral research in communication science on television media management at University of Pune in 2002. Before joining Doordarshan, he worked for an advertising sector for one year. In 1981, he began his media career with Doordarshan Mumbai and obtained an extensive experience in TV production and management. He has produced over 700 television programs in his participate practicing media profession. He has worked for 22 years as a producer of educational TV for government of Maharashtra. He had got advanced training in educational TV production by Asian Institute of Broadcasting Development, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia in the year 1988. 
he had also produced as and directed tv commercials radio jingles and tv series for region regional and national network he had compared several tv shows and also performed as a news reader for all india radio pune he has regularly invited by various channels in uh, students counseling programs as an expert in the area of tv production presentation management and journalism since 1990 he has been involved in teaching the students of mass communication in various universities of maharashtra as a visiting faculty in tv production broadcast journalism and media management he has written many articles on media related issues and specifically on broadcast journalism for the times of india and some of his research articles have been published by international journal commonwealth broadcaster london uk he has written two books on tv journalism and mass media his book in journalism in english titled broadcast journalism and digital media has been published by diamond publications pune his book in marathi television and ani prasar madhyame has been bought out by pratik prakashan pune his latest book um uh, bhineli uh, manse on the various global personalities have been profoundly received by readers and within a couple of years second edition has been published he regularly contributes for daily sakal maharashtra times daily kesri on various issues pertaining to mass media education literature and current affairs he had been participating in tv news channels current affairs programs as a political and communication analyst he is a research guide of telak maharashtra vidyapeeth in the subject of media and communication he has also held a position as a, a founder director of director at mahirir karve stri uh, sikshan sansthan media school smart for 4 years he has a, he is a recipient of many awards like late sudha atre award for scoring highest marks in advertising the award for children educational film in the national children film competition 1988 pillar of hindustan society tacci award in the year 2016 for outstanding contribution in media and education presently he is associated with telak maharashtra vidyapeeth as a head of the department of journalism and mass communication so no further delay i would like to invite dr kesav sathe sir to kindly grace the dais and share his valuable knowledge on visual literacy good morning as shashwati ma'am said today is the international literacy day so we have chosen a topic which is related to our strength isn't it because literacy is a word which is applicable to everything and mostly in the field of mass communication it is more relevant before i go for my main topic i would like to give you a short landscape of advertising world advertising world in india is about 12000 crore rupees 12000 crore rupees this is the turnover of advertising in india and you being a student of mass communication some of the from advertising field some of the from art and digital art i think it is very important for them so there are lots of opportunities in advertising but the second important thing is advertising is becoming complex day by day previously it was so that you can have a full page ad half page ad then have a teaser every week you can put some information about that product even in radio jingle also you can have a jingle of 15 seconds 30 seconds you put it and you come to know what is the effect and impact of those advertisement the situation is different now now we are in the field of new media we are on facebook we are on twitter there are reels which we produce so there are so many so many opportunities and sources which can help you to make advertisement but it is very difficult to find out how successful my ad is even getting just like is not enough to understand the impact of my advertisement 
I always say, unless you convert your viewer into your customer, your ad is not successful. So it is always said that 50% of my advertising budget is not useful, I know. But I don't know which 50%. Isn't it? If I'm if I am uh, having a budget of 10 crore rupees for advertisement, I know 5 crore rupees is loss. But which 5 crore rupees, I don't know. That's why I have to spend 10 crore rupees. This is the peculiarity of this field. Now I am talking about the literacy and advertising and visual literacy. There are many facades to it. It is one on the copywriting content. Second is about the visuals, designs, graphics. So we we'll start from first slide. This is the visual literacy in advertising. You may ask me a question. Do you think that we are not literate in advertising or in visuals? That may be a question coming to your mind. But I want to retrospect you. I want to see you inside of you that really we are enough literate to understand advertising, to understand its effect, and to understand the overall impact on our audience or customer. The first and important literacy is understanding visual language. You know in literacy what usually? You can write, you can read, you can speak. That is all about the literacy. The same is applicable here. That whether you understand the visual language, what is visual language? Those who are in the field of audiovisual, they must be knowing that every second of visual having 24 frames, right? Sometime in HD it is 30. Those frames brought together and making a shot. So 10, 240 frames brought together, it is 10 second shot. Is 10 second shot brought together three, four times, it becomes a scene. If you put together all scenes, it becomes sequence. And you put sequence all together, it becomes film. Isn't it? So if you know the grammar of your A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, the same way you must understand the grammar of visuals. So then you would understand 5 seconds, 2 seconds, I used, when I was with Doodarshan, we used to produce news at 7.30 in the evening. So at exactly 7.30, the logo of news should come on there. At that time, we, the video which we used to use, having the pre-roll of 10 seconds. So after 10 seconds, which will come up. So at 7.29.50, seven hours, 29 minutes, 50 seconds, we used to give a command, roll video tape. And exactly at 7.30, that music and visual comes on air. We had the discipline of following every second. This is one of the salient features of understanding visual language, every second of particularly about the commercial of television ads or film ads is important. So unless you know what exactly language in which I am doing my work, how many seconds, how these frames looks, how these short looks, there are different types of shots you know. There is a close up, mid close up, long shot, over the shoulder shot, perspective shot, top angle shot, two shots, isn't it? You must know the meaning of those shots. Why I am using this shot? How long I am using this shot? How long it will go and go with the another shot? And how that just a position will create some effect? Unless you do it very precisely, you would not in a position to yield the result out of it. Usually what happens? Laga do, so ye laga do, ye shot liya, ye laga do, ye laga do. Don't generalize. You are a student of mass media. You are not expected to generalize. 
you must have a justification of every shot which you choose to put it on air so visual language is most important part which you should understand and that literacy i am trying to imbibe in you basically advertising is not done for us ha ye apni khushi ke liye nahi banate na we do it for our client we do it for our customer and we do it for the customer's customer because he want to put that ad and grab some profit grab some turnover so if you are given a opportunity to prepare a television ad or any ad for that matter when you get a briefing from your client that is most important you must develop that literacy otherwise what happen i know how to prepare ad i will prepare it is great it won't work what a greatness it should be translated into the fiber business and the main catch is understanding your client's aspiration what client want to do how he want to give that product a position how he want to travel his product product to travel further when you get a brief as a consultant or as an expert you can always guide him you can tell him oh it won't work we have to do it but you must get the briefing as usually doctor gets briefing from his patient isn't it kya ho raha hai aapko bukhar aa raha hai khansi ho rahi hai kitne baar ho rahi hai kitne baje hoti hai subah hoti hai or on this information doctor comes to the conclusion that he is suffering from this and this medicine should be administered on him or her the same way you must have that consultant behavior with your client while doing ad and those ads would be more powerful and more relevant for your audience this is most important part aapke paas koi story chahiye you cannot make advertisement in isolation ki maine ek product liya us par kuch thoda kaam kiya design kiya 2d effect liya wo pseudo 3d mein kiya dikhaya it won't work. any single advertisement any isolated advertisement must have its own story agar aap story nahi batate to koi sunne wala nahi hai aapko story create karni hai sometime it is very difficult for a single ad i understand but still you should try to find out what color scheme i can use what logo i can use what should be the size of my letters where they have to put it how much blank area i can keep in ads i remember those old days when i was working in advertising field usually we had a client of lakshmi road you know lakshmi road pune they are all shops owners sari owners sari shop owners when we prepare an ad we try to prepare it in a most creative way suppose is a ad of two column 10 cm we used to put their name their photographs and put some space blank because the blank space is very important everywhere because that blank space gives the dimension to other part so that shopkeeper used to say aapne ye khali kyu rakhi hai isme kuch bhar do so that was the tendency of the client ki maine itni space khareedi hai na to us space mein har space mein kuch na kuch lagaunga but that won't help we tried to tell them baba jo empty space hai that will attract eyeballs which is not empty so this is what usually you must see to it that there should be a story and story must have its own own thing to tell this is the literacy to translate ideas into sellable commodity we have many ideas in mind isn't it when we prepare an ad as a copywriter or as a designer or as a illustrator or as a visualizer or as a concept creator there are many roles related to ads but while doing all these roles you should be able to translate your ideas into sellable capital sellable commodity i give you one example you know the ad of nirma 
वॉशिंग पावडर निर्मा यू माइट हैव हर्ड मेनी टाइम्स इज दैट जिंगल नाउ टेल मी फ्रैंकली वॉट इज देर इन दैट पोएट्री देर इज नो पोएट्री इन दैट कॉपी आप अगर उसे रीड करते हो वॉशिंग पाउडर उसमें कोई ऐसी कोई चीज नहीं है जो हमें अट्रैक्ट कर सके लेकिन दे गिव दैट निर्माण एवरी डे अराउंड एटी टाइम्स वेन दे लॉन्च ऑन रेडियो सो इट केम टू माई इयर्स रेग्युलरली वो निर्मा मेरी आई बिकम अ फैन ऑफ निर्मा टूडे ऑल्सो इन द डिफरेंट एड्स ऑफ वॉशिंग पाउडर पीपल रिमेंबर निर्मा people remember nirma because they have heard it they they understand the tune they mm. remember the tune and accordingly a sell takes place so unless you are ad there are many ads in advertising world we have got every year we have got a competition of creative ads and the most unfortunate thing of those ads that the most creative ads hardly fetch any results because the art the ad is creative for those who are scholars on the field of advertising but the customer last ten customer you cannot convince them that this ad is great so we usually say ki aapke ad to bahut achhe hai usse 1 lakh rupaye ka price mila hai lekin ye ad hai wo 10 lakh rupaye ka purchase kara sakta तो आपको ये दिल दिमाग में रखना है कि मुझे क्रिएटिव होना होना है लेकिन एट नॉट एट द कॉस्ट ऑफ लूजिंग माई क्लाइंट लूजिंग माई प्रोडक्ट ग्लेयर सो यू यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट द गैप बिटवीन इट नाउ विल से सम ऑफ द कमर्शियल्स इन बिटवीन बिकॉज दैट विल गिव यू द आइडिया हाउ एड शुड बी यू कैन स्टार्ट विथ फर्स्ट वन वी आर सींग सम ऑफ द कमर्शियल्स विच i liked you may not have seen it but we will discuss those commercials audio visual commercial different products different services what is the characteristics of that ads and how we should conceive our own thought about these types of ads in 1957 it was about made by ogilvy ogilvy was the great advertiser great person who wrote many books on advertising he made ads of a rolls royce you know that word rolls royce car a most luxurious car the copy of that ad was at 60 miles an hour this is ad of 1957 so you may say that 60 miles to motorcycle bhi chalate hain ha at that time the car was running at 60 miles an hour the loudest noise in this new rolls royce comes from the electric clock what is the meaning of this ad tell me if you want i will repeat this this is the ad a paper ad of rolls royce the copy says at 60 minutes an hour the loudest noise in this new rolls royce comes from the electric clock the car is so sophisticated it won't make any noise the only noise we get is of clock isn't it wo to gaadi to bahut awaaz karti hai to clock ki agar main awaaz sun sakta ho it means car is loud ये जमी ये आसमा हा ये जमी ये आसमा हमारा कल हमारा आज हमारा कल हमारा आज बुलंद भारत की बुलंद तस्वीर हमारा बजाज हमारा बजाज बुलंद भारत की बुलंद तस्वीर हमारा बजाज हमारा बजाज क्या प्रोडक्ट क्या है स्कूटर 
what they want to show, what they want to portray. They want to portray that Bajaj is spreading in every community. Bajaj is tying families together. Bajaj means festive. Bajaj means pleasure. Bajaj means hope. And Bajaj means joy. So usually what happens when you produce an ad, when you show a product, Product cannot go alone. Product should go in hand in hand with many emotions man, family has. Otherwise, it will be only a product which runs by this kilometer and the speed is good, the lights are good, features are good. No. It's my family member. Bajaj is my family member. It's a story they want to tell. And it was very popular. Bajaj was one of the number one or number two manufacturers in India. Even we exported many scooters across the world. So this type of ads when you produce, you write, will have one session on how to create a storyboard, how to write a sound bite to it how the gaps and how that gaps to be brought together. If you do it very meticulously, very logically, giving some inputs of creativity, you can produce a very good ad. Now I take you to the another ad that is Udan khatole me ud chali choti si ek mena. What is the main genre? Main genre is humor. And humor is the most, uh, I think, we like. I think usually if we find any humor in any story, we get elated. But that humor can go, never go alone. It's sticking together. So that sticking together of people, sticking together of bicycle with that truck, I think all they have just a position in one ad, having a very simple tune, having a very simple tune and a very catching visuals. It is just 15 seconds to 20, 25 seconds ad. But it was very popular, very popular. So what we should come to, what we should get from this type of ads, that what type of genre I have to select for my product. If my product is fevicol, why why don't you I try to be a humorous ad or something like that? So when you get your product, you have to see the personality of the product. You have to see who are the customers of that product. Then you have to see what type of customers of that product. And accordingly, you have to design the genre. It is a suspense, it is a happiness, it is a humor or something like that. Choice नहीं है, तुम्हें ये करना ही पड़ेगा। लेकिन प्रिया इतने कम टाइम में ये सब कैसे होगा? Sorry guys, you'll have to manage it. Okay? You should start now. How's it going? Okay. कुछ हो तो call करना. Okay. Bye. Bye. 
अच्छा रोहित मैं घर पहुंच रही हूँ तुम डिनर में क्या खाओगे ओके टाइम लगेगा बॉस ने बहुत काम दिया है बाय काम ना बॉस को बोलो कि वाइफ बुला रही है तुम भी बोलो ना बॉस को जल्दी आना वेट करूंगी कभी कभी बस एक स्मार्टफोन लाइफ में थोड़ा मैजिक ला सकता है तभी तो खास स्मार्टफोन्स के लिए बना है एयरटेल द स्मार्टफोन नेटवर्क यू माइट हैव सीन दिस एड शी इज द बॉस ऑफ द ऑफिस बट व्हेन शी इज एट होम शी डू ऑल हर ड्यूटी चोर्स वेरी डेडिकेटेडली वेरी लविंगली आई थिंक दिस टाइप ऑफ एडवर्टाइजमेंट इट्स अ ग्रेट स्टोरी आई थिंक दिस कैन बी अ फीचर फिल्म आल्सो इट कैन बी अ सीरियल आल्सो इजंट इट सो दैट पोटेंशियल यू मस्ट सी इन इन दोस एड्स so that you should be enabled to write such ads this might have come from a very scratch idea in your mind this process is very difficult creativity is a jungle you never know when you will come out of it you never know how you to enter in it and you never know how these feeling the emotions come to your mind and get it translated into words and emotions so this is all uh, creative thing but you can definitely develop as a student Hello. Hi. What are you doing tonight? Me? Join me for dinner. Sure. See you at eight. One black coffee, please. Ericsson mobile phones, surprisingly small. This is the basically ad of a telephone. Uh, मोबाइल विच दे वॉन्टेड टू शो नाउ वी आर गॉट वेरी स्मॉल दैन दैट बट दैट मोबाइल वॉज सो स्मॉल सो शी जस्ट केप्ट हियर शी जस्ट केप्ट हियर एंड शी वॉज स्पीकिंग विथ समबडी एंड शी वॉज लुकिंग हियर एंड देयर दैट जेंटलमैन थॉट दैट शी इज इन्वाइटिंग एंड वेन ही केम सो पोलाइटली द आंसर वॉज वन ब्लैक कॉफी प्लीज यू रिमेम्बर इरिक्सन एड सो इरिक्सन वॉज द front player in advertisement in the beginning so how these ads isn't it this type of creative things agar aap se banti hai na to sky is the limit it won't make every day i know but at least saal mein agar do teen aap se ye aisi cheeze banti hai print mein aur ye visual mein sound mein reel mein aap reel to taiyar karte hain dikhate hain spread karte hain और बहुत अपॉर्चुनिटीज भी है आपको आपके आइडिया के साथ खेलने के देर इज नो कॉस्ट इफ यू कैन गेट मेनी आई बॉल्स यू कैन गेट गुड लाइक्स यू कैन गेट गुड रिस्पॉन्सेस यू कैन गेट गुड कॉमेंट्स दैट गिव्स यू इंकरेजमेंट एंड यू कम विथ मोर कलरिंग एड्स मोर कलरिंग क्रिएटिव थिंग्स इन लाइफ सो ट्राई इट आउट third in the third from the last indian emotional ad films that nurse is being teen din se keh rahi hu is dal se iska kuch nahi hone wala मेरी दाल के दो चम्मच पिलाने दे और मैं भी आपको तीन दिन से कह रही हूँ दादी कि बाहर का खाना अलाउड नहीं है ये घर का है चलो मुंह खोलो तेन पता है पुत्र बचपन में जब क्रिकेट खेल के भूखा प्यासा आता था ना मेरी दाल की छे कटोरिया पी जाता था अच्छा हाँ आज दो चम्मच तो पिलाने दे दादी इतने 
कितने दिन से कह रही हूँ मेरी दाल के दो चम्मच पिलाने दे ये बात तेरे पल्ले नहीं पड़ती आपकी पल्ले पड़ती है अच्छा चल आई लव यू बस हद कर दी दादी इतने दिन से समझा रही हूं आपको बात समझ में नहीं आती बड़ी बड़ी मत कर बर्थडे है इसका ये तो तेरे लिए लाई हूं ले और वो अब वो वो दादी पुत्र दो चम्मच पिलाने दे सिर्फ दो चम्मच पिला दो What you learn from this, you learn that persistence and patience are the most important things in life. कितने बार वो दादी try कर रही है ना मुझे पता भी नहीं कब वो successful हो जाओगी. And they associated with that oil. कि ये खाना इसमें बना है वगैरह वगैरह. That is all together different. You can sell that product, but you have to be very emotional about. That then only you can sell the product. अगर आप सात आठ नौ दस बार कोशिश करते हैं तो शायद कामयाब हो सकते हैं द सेम हैपन इन अवर एडवर्टाइजिंग फील्ड आई टेल यू दिक्रेट ऑफ एडवर्टाइजिंग वेन द बिग क्लाइंट बिग टेलीविजन कंपनी एंड ऑल वेन दे डिसाइड देयर एनुअल एडवर्टाइजिंग एजेंसी दे सिलेक्ट इन एवरी ऑगस्ट और सेप्टेंबर that this year we will give contract to this advertising agents so they usually call the artworks creatives most of the time they reject it ask them to send again send again send again send again nine times agar koi banata hai to wo chhod deta hai the person or the agency who do it for 10 times she gets that contract because all ten advertising agency are equivalent competent all are creative lekin aapko last tak koshish karni hai i think this this reflects that koshish and this question is very important in our field also hum hai raba dil hai jo 
We came up with a lot of uh, different stories, but we actually froze on the Africa road trip for a very specific reason, because this particular vehicle, this XUV, has been inspired by a cheetah. The exciting part about uh, about this film was it's so vast, um, uh, starting from animals to uh, locations to uh, expressions of of these three people, three friends going on an adventure. There are some scenes which stay back with you. You know, for example, the the giraffe uh, actually coming into the car and and picking up something. The way we did it was that you know we kept his food in the in the car, which she really liked. We were having in one one of the buckets and we were going cut, 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 cut. She heard that sound. She came, and then she just put her neck, her face in the thing, and that I think that was superb shot. We were racing the wildebeest, those animals that you see in the ad that are running, and my car was going at about 130 kilometers when I was chasing those wildebeest. In the Serengeti, in the Masai Mara, what you actually see on TV are just is just grass. But the whole place is full of ant hills, and they're like little mountains. So you're literally bouncing off from one ant hill to the other. Everything is shot very real. Everything is shot like the cheetah when the cheetah is standing on the bonnet of the car. Actual actors are sitting in the car. If you see that shot, the scene was I had to be scared. So you know, once I got scared and I got, I just yelled, ah! and then he just looked at me like soup. And he just looked into my eyes. I was like, "Okay, I am dead. I need to roll the windows up. I need to roll the windows up." I thought he's going to jump and just eat my head. The consumer insight that we found, uh, which was actually leveraged in this TVC, was that experiences is the new currency in today's world. It's not about what money you have. It's not about what status you have. It's about what experiences you have experienced in your life. I think it speaks itself. What actually the one important point segment they have made in this ad is experience is the most precious commodity. Experience, आप उसे experience कर रहे हो. ये आजकल के life में best commodity है. You can sell with this feeling. We can sell with this currency. Experience, अगर आप life experience उन्हें रियल लाइफ एक्सपीरियंस दे रहे हैं आपके एड के थ्रू तो पीपल विल गेट अट्रैक्टेड एंड आई थिंक दिस दिस इज वन ऑफ द यू एस पी ऑफ एनी एडवर्टाइजमेंट इज गिविंग अ रियल लाइफ एक्सपीरियंस टू योर कस्टमर्स एंड क्लाइंट्स नाउ विल मूव टू अदर अनदर एड ये मैं ये यूसुफ लंगोटिया यार सी मेरा लाहौर में हमारे घर के सामने एक बड़ा बाग था उस बाग का गेट बाबा आजम के जमाने <laughs> रोज शाम को हमने वहां पतंगे उड़ानी और उसके बाद जाके यूसुफ के दुकान से जजरिया चुरा के खानी जजरिया नमस्ते नमस्ते मेरी पोती मुंबई वाली और बेटे क्या नमस्ते। चाल है? दादाजन दिल्ली से किसी की कॉल है हेलो यूसुफ अंकल कौन जी मैं सुमन बोल रही हूँ दिल्ली से आपके बचपन के दोस्त बलदेव जी की पोती याद है बचपन में आप दोनों जजरिया चुरा के खाते थे बचपन की तंग गली फिर से कूद फांदे छोटी छोटी मीठी चोरी गांठ लेके बांधे 
एक पतंग सा उड़ता था परिंदों की तरह परिंदों की तरह परिंदों की तरह एक दौर था मन मन मोर था एक दौर था मन मन मोर था पार्टीशन के वक्त हम रातों रात हिंदुस्तान आ गए दादू यूसुफ जी बड़ी याद आंदी है कागजों के कश्तियों में डूब रहता था झांकती खिड़कियों में उलझा रहता था वो भी क्या दौर था मन पे न जोर था एक दौर था मन मन मोर था एक दौर था मन मन मोर था जी कौन हैप्पी बर्थडे यारा Three or four minutes. I think we should be in a position to give such type of plaids to our audience, to our customers, to our clients. It's not possible in for every product. I understand, but you can give some colors, some shades to your story, and you can make such a memorable ad. Now I will move to one ad that is making of Amul. जरा सी हसी दुलार जरा सा
inside shows how ad is being produced, how content being developed, how in a very joyous mood the team works. I think this is really a great work. That the student of uh, art design and digital media, they must understand that every shape, every shade, every texture has its own personality. And that personality has to be incorporated in your design. And you should be in a position to tell the story with that. And number two point, the point is that the speed in which you are doing your animation or something like that a reel. I think this should go along with the story which you want to tell because it should be very comprehensible for the audience. Otherwise, visual is good, audio is good, effects are good, but I don't understand. I don't know what it is, it's abstract. When you get this kind of feeling, then the work which you have done is not of any use. So, when you work, do you do this with your mind that I am using which color I am using? What texture is? What can the meaning of this texture? I think all those things should come to your mind. Now, I will conclude with one ad and a commentary on it and our session would be over. Okay, I have to ask you a question before I start. Most of the films nowadays I am seeing animated films. Story films, biopics. This is my feeling that in many films there are special effects and the story is less. Are you agree with me? So technology should not take over the story. And we have to keep this in our mind. I have technology, there is also an effect of Wi-Fi, Dissolve. यूज कर सकता हूँ इसका मतलब ये नहीं है व्हाट इज़ द डिमांड ऑफ़ द स्टोरी अंडर्स यू अंडरस्टैंड इट आई थिंक दैट यू कैन नॉट बी इन अ पोजीशन टू प्रोड्यूस अ वेरी इफेक्टिव विजुअल्स आवर लास्ट थिंग इज़ ऑफ़ दिस इज़ अ कमर्शियल और एडिशंस मेड ऑन अ आई बैंक की किरने झलमल झलमल डागो हुई है हलचल हलचल सूरज की किरने झलमल जागो हुई है हलचल इंद्र धनुष के टुकड़े लाकर घोलो उनको रंग बनाकर धरती का हर कोना को रंगी नहीं छुट रहा है। वार्डन काका, रंग कितने रंग के होते हैं? लाल, नीला, पीला, हरा। हरा कैसा होता है? अब कैसे बताऊँ तुझे?
is such a great ad that uh, they never see anything. Whatever in their memory they wanted to tell. So their visualization, which we have seen in the first part of the ad, and the last, we see what reality is. They can't see any color. They are asking what color it is. And the last is that you have to donate eyes because there are so many blinds. So this is one of the uh, exactly appealing ad, those who want to donate their eyes. Before I conclude, I would like to tell a story which goes on the same line. This story I read in one of the uh, story collection book of Maruti Chitampalli. Maruti Chitampalli was a forest officer, environmentalist, and uh, a jungle lover. He used to go many jungles in India and abroad also. When he was in one dense jungle, he met an old lady. She was 80 plus. And she had a peculiarity that she wished to understand the color by just uttering a word. Suppose somebody is calling, hey, come here. If this tone she hears, she may say he's an honest man. If somebody say, go, 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 a different voice, different. And she used to tell what temperament that man has. Just, and she used to see, this is a black, this is a red, this is a yellow. So he used to give a color denomination to the voice which you hear. So when red is a violent, black is a bad, white is a good. So if a good person speaking something, she immediately understand what exactly that person is. And she used to see the white color in his sound. What a great power. I don't know the story is right or wrong. But I have a belief that we should understand colors by sound and sound by colors. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. It was very interesting and informative session, sir. Thank you so much for giving your valuable expertise and knowledge and taking so much effort and time to give such interesting and uh, uh, fruitful lecture. I hope it is um, it will help our students too to understand what is visual literacy in present times. So thank you so much, sir, for coming here.